All new here at 10 o'clock, it's life in prison for Ray Kelly after a jury convicted him of murder. The defendant spoke up before getting sentenced and told the judge, quote, I'm sorry for all of this. But Kelly dragged Sergeant Conley Jumper into the path of a semi-truck. Jumper was one of several Greenville County deputies who responded as backup to a traffic stop in 2020. Now, the jury was out deliberating for just three hours before reaching a verdict. As Fox County's Myra Ruiz reports, it marks the end of an emotional trial. It wasn't clear which way the jury would go, especially after they came back to ask if they could consider a verdict for voluntary manslaughter instead of murder. The answer to that was legally no, but you could still tell tensions were running high after returning to the courtroom for the verdict, though relief, at least for the 13th Circuit solicitor Walt Wilkins and others. While we are satisfied with the verdict, we hope it gives the family a little bit of justice, a little bit of solace to, to move on. Uh, but unfortunately, Sergeant Jumper is, gonna, is gone. Ray Kelly will spend the rest of his life in prison for that murder charge alone. He had other guilty verdicts that came with shorter sentences. Now, this comes after the judge heard from Sergeant Conley Jumper's widow, who thanked everyone who showed support. The Greenville County deputy who pulled over Kelly during the traffic stop shared that same sentiment. And the Greenville County deputy whose patrol car hit the Nissan that was dragging Sergeant Jumper told the defendant that he forgives him. Um, he was such a well-loved individual, um, a fantastic law enforcement officer, and as his uh, wife said, he would give his life for his team, and unfortunately he did in this case. But this is one of the few cases where a murder is on camera. We have all the acts leading up before it, all the acts after it, and we have the defendant's uh, um, actions after it. Um, and so that, a lot of that is a lot of really helpful evidence. We tried reaching out to the 13th Circuit Public Defender Mindy Lipinski, but didn't hear back before news time. Judge Ned Miller thanked her for her hard work. The defendant was representing himself until after the trial already started. There is a co-defendant in this case, Trinell Loriano. The solicitor says she seemed to be Ray Kelly's girlfriend at the time. She was in the car when all of this happened, and she faces charges of drug possession, drug trafficking, and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. Her court date has not yet been set. My Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.